Hello, and welcome to Please Me. Last week, Eve interviewed Bonnie and Bonnie from Bonnie's Herbals. They talked about their all-natural products for vaginal moisture and their sex butter, which is fantastic for Lou. This episode touched upon menopause, cancer, masturbation, and vaginal atrophy. Don't let these issues catch you unaware and go back and listen. This podcast is intended for mature audiences. Eve is a licensed sexual health physical therapist on a mission to destigmatize conversations about sex. Please sit back and surrender to the pleasure of Please Me. Looking for a sexy date? STC.com is the premier ethically non monogamous dating site that also houses a wealth of information regarding sexuality and sexual health. Join the Please Me Health Collective on STC.com and listen to Eve's free live webinars. Use code 37340 for a free trial membership. Maybe you are in the market for some sexy toys to add some spice to the bedroom. Check out the organic leather link for the best online store for sex toys, boobs, and more. So a smaller one and a bigger one. Yes. Which I love this one for vaginal and this one for anal. Oh, I, I, I like the one who knows what she likes. Yeah. Now everybody's yeah. going to know yeah. what I like, right? Ooh. Oops. <laughs> so, yeah. So this one's really fun and it's stainless steel. Are you suffering from erectile dysfunction in silence? Are you embarrassed by premature ejaculation? Is it hard to get an erection that is long enough for penetration or that lasts long enough to satisfy your partner and yourself? Just know that you are not alone and that 20% of men suffer from erectile dysfunction in their 20s and it goes up 10% per decade. So 50% of men in their 50s will have some form of erectile dysfunction. My name is Eve Hall, a licensed physical therapist who treats conditions such as erectile dysfunction and other sexual health conditions. I'm here to tell you that there is a solution to erectile dysfunction, and I offer the gold standard in my practice called Inspire Health Physical Therapy and Wellness. I have a full protocol to get your sexy back, so know that I am here to help. Just know that there is no shame in having any sexual health condition, including erectile dysfunction. If that is you, be sure to reach me on sdc.com and leave me a message there, or reach me on pleaseme.online to listen to my podcasts, or to leave me a message and book an appointment today. Hello, and welcome to Please Me, the podcast that aims to destigmatize conversations about sex and sexual health by turning the sheets into our classroom. Today, I am so excited to welcome Taylor Sparks to the show. She is a repeat guest and was on my podcast in season one, and she is back on season three, and I am so excited to have her on today. Taylor Sparks has the most incredible store online, and she sells all sorts of sexy things, and it's called OrganicLovin.com, and I'm just going to pop that up right here. And I have been asking her to help me to curate a list of toys and gadgets for my website. And so she is here to talk about all the juicy details today about those items that we're going to be choosing for my website. So I cannot wait to create that with her. She is the author of the book, African American Guide to Ethical Non-Monogamy. And um, she is just a wealth of information and extremely smart and super sexy so I am going to bring her on now and welcome her to the show. Hi, Taylor. Welcome to the show today. How are you? Hey, I'm good, Eve. Thank you so much for having me back. I'm excited to be here. We're going to talk about some good things today, I know. Oh, I cannot wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> and the first thing I want to bring up, you dabble a little bit in the dominatrix world and in the kink world, right? And so I want to know about your experiences in that world today. And today I brought my inner dominatrix and wore this um, outfit. So I need to lower my camera a little. There we go. <laughs> oh, yes. That's good. I like that. Looking nice today. Very sexy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I am an erotic educator and sex goddess, but I discovered my dom side when I started dating dom guys. <laughs> I met um, a couple who introduced me to polyamory and kink. At the same time, I was at Hedo and spent a few nights with them and 
they did things to me that I was pretty sure was illegal in at least three states. But <laughs> I enjoyed it. And then found out about fat life. And then I went and I did the, the BD exam. I think it's called, it's called BDSMT.org. I believe it is on fat life. And it was not on fat, but you can take it. And I was, I'm pretty much a switch. It's, it, I'm more dominant naturally than not, but I do like to submit on occasion, sometimes, maybe, <laughs> with the right dom <laughs> at the right time. And if you ask me nicely, I might. But spanking was my first, biting was my first kink, and then spanking was my second kink, mostly during sex, but sometimes not. But I love, love, love to spank. So I also realize that I have a little bit of sadism in me because the spanking actually turns me on. It's such a turn. I've been fortunate that the men that I date are also into the things that I'm into. So we've had good times, both. Well, one is a switch like me. So I'm a dominant switch, which means that although I'm primarily dominant, I have dated guys who have been more dominant than me who do not switch. So even as a submissive or even as a dominant, you can do submissive acts. So you can lower your dominance for the party <laughs> or for the pleasure <laughs> of, of your dom. So there that is. So that's what I've done so far. <laughs> Wonderful. So far. And I love that um, ending to the question because the sky is the limit when it comes to sexuality and thinking outside of the box and really being creative. This is how we play, right? This is how adults yes. play. And creativity in the bedroom leads to hot and spicy sex. So I definitely recommend thinking outside of the box and thinking about where you are along that continuum of dominance and submission. And I too would consider myself a switch because I do most of the time, I would say that I'm more submissive than dominant, but I do have my moments where I love to be dominant yeah. and, and exploring that is a lot of fun. And I love to be spanked too. And you remember on the last podcast, I volunteered to be the, uh, this, uh, um, uh, the spank uh, model for you. This, so the, the spank, you be you be the spanky. I'll be the spanky, and you'll yes. be the spankophile. Is that what it is? <laughs> I, I'm a spankophile. Those who love spanking on either side are spankophiles. Then I would be the spanker, and you would be the spanky. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Oh, either way is a spankophile. Okay, got it. So I am a spankophile mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. So since we've yeah. been talking about our kinks, et cetera, I think we should talk about some toys now and see what sorts of things you have in your incredible store. And first of all, I want to just say that everything on Taylor's store, organicleaven.com, and I'll just pop that up again, is, is organic and natural. Okay. And yes. I love that about her products. You're not going to put oh, anything you. in your body that's going to put tons of chemicals or anything like that. And especially when you're talking about your genital area, you really yeah. need to be very careful about what you're putting there. And mm -hmm. the genital area in women is a, another mucosal membrane, just like the inner part of your mouth. And it absorbs whatever you put on it. So just know that anything that's on her website is going to be healthy for your body. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. It, 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 it's very important where we, I think a lot of people don't consider the fact that our skin is porous. And yes. although they say up to 60% of what you put on the skin is absorbed into the bloodstream, but it's not everything. It's some things penetrate just the top layers and some things are actually absorbed because if everything was absorbed, we drown every time we got into the shower. But as you mentioned, the vagina, the mouth, the nose, they're all covered in the mucous membrane and up to 100% of what you put on it can be absorbed into the bloodstream, not just penetrated. So it is highly important. And I designed the website and designed my brand to make sure that people's sex life was as healthy as possible. So all of our products are either organic and are natural and eco-friendly. We are chemical-free on the website. All of our condoms are vegan. And not a lettuce wrap, you cannot eat it, so don't do that. <laughs> and I think the only non-vegans one we carry are skins because some people, which is a polyisoprene, some people are allergic to latex. So we do carry those. That is not a non-chemical based uh, product, but everything else we have 
over 1,400 products on the website, including books. So anything you're looking to get into, whether it's sex, sexuality, sexual health, everybody from teens to over 50 can find something on our website. When I say teens, there's a book for teens and young adults on their sexual health and wellness, not the sex toys themselves. You have to be at least 18 to purchase from the website. And lots of toys for women, men, trans, gay, straight. We have a good deal of products for you and the bodies you love to love, I like to say. Yes, absolutely. And I love that it's so inclusive of everybody and there's toys for just about everybody there. Let's talk about some of my faves that I will be including on my website. And uh, one of them I'm wearing right now and it's the Crave vibrator, right? This one here. Talk about this one a yes. little bit. Yes. And it's a Crave necklace. So you can wear it when you walk around town and have a little secret around your neck. And yes. it's kind of a sexy thing to put on it for a party or it's very elegant looking mm -hmm. and I love it. Yeah, it's called the Vesper by Crave. And they've come out with an updated one and it comes in silver, gold, and rose gold. And like you said, it's just an elegant necklace that you get to wear, but it has four vi four vibration modes on it. And so it's just a little clitoral bullet, but it is very powerful. And it's so unassuming. I always say, you can wear it to work and when your boss gets on your nerves, you can just go to the bathroom and ah, oh. release <laughs> that frustration, <laughs> right? I mean, what is that frustration? <laughs> if we had more, or if we had more orgasms in life, a lot of us would be a lot more, a lot less stressed. You can wear it to dinner with your, at your mother-in-law's and when you know, it gets stressful with that dinner. You can go, excuse me, and take yourself <laughs> to the bathroom. And I'll be right that back. Stress. I need to use the ladies' room. And you're right. Sex right. is a great stress reliever, right? And I've heard from so many men who say that, like, in the middle of their work day, they go to the bathroom and masturbate. And that's a common thing for men. Yes. Because they're constantly having erections throughout the day, and that's natural. And if you're not having erections throughout the day, there may be issues with your erectile function and you need to look at that. And, you know, think about yeah, when you were a teenager sure. and how often you got hard-ons, right? Mm -hmm. And then suddenly they like start to diminish and diminish until you stop getting morning wood, you stop having erections throughout the day. And those things are normal and natural. And if you're not getting those, that's an issue. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. But absolutely, mm -hmm. like, why can't a woman bring her little vibrator with her to work and it's quiet? Yeah. It's quiet. Yep. And it's pretty powerful. Yep. You're absolutely right. Hey, yeah. I'm all for that. A little stress relief. We all get those 15 minute breaks and that's all you really need. <laughs> if you're concentrating. That's all you need with that. And right. You've just, you'll be done in a minute. You'll be like, hey, and you just won't be bothered with anyone else throughout the day. It's good. That's right. But again, <laughs> they're also good for if you go to parties like swing parties, it's nice to have. And I know some men that wear them. That's they a great idea. Parties. Because why wouldn't you want to pleasure your partner? And if you're prepared, hey, it's, you're going to be a much better lover, right? So I love that idea. Yeah. And I have to bring up my absolute most favorite toy. And I did find it on your website too. I'm not sure which brand you have, but Rosie. <laughs> it's my fave. Ah, you love the rose. So that's the new... It relatively new. It's been a couple of years now. Yeah. Coming out with the air technology. And it's and so this rose everyone was talking about because it's got an air technology that sucks. And yes. we have Romp has one, one of the brands that we have. We have a couple of different brands that make the rose, but we also have the womanizer, which is the first one that came out with this new air technology that sucks. And so many women who love that sensation absolutely just went crazy over the rose. And I'm like, it's just a womanizer with a rose around it. They're like, whatever, we love it. And some of them are, you can get them more expensive, but there are several companies now, Satisfier, Romp, Womanizer, all on our site. If you just on our site and put up like sucking toys, you'll come up with a, a slew <laughs> of different toys. Yeah, and not for everyone, you really have to love that sensation. But for yes. those who do, it's great. Yes, absolutely. It does. Mm. It, it is. You're absolutely right. The sucking action is something that you have to get used to. 
What I love about it is the surface area of the vibrating surface because it's very wide. Mm -hmm. It covers a lot of the, um, yes. around the clitoris and it covers a lot of the labia and all of that. So it has a big surface area, which I love. And that's why this sometimes yeah. is not enough because it's so little, but the rose is like yes. big and wide. So that one really yeah. like works for me. So I so love it's, that. So it takes care, because it takes care of the vibration of the legs of the clitoris. Exactly, because the, the clitoris, when you're talking perfect. about anatomically, the clitoris is almost the size of the penis, and but it's more internal mm. outside yes. the clitoris and the hood. Internally, there are the legs and there's a, a big structure. So we won't go into anatomy today. We've done that in another podcast. We're going to be talking <laughs> more about yeah. more fun things. So I want to mention that there's one that I don't have that I need to buy for myself. It's like a dual action vibrator, right? So there's one that stimulates externally the clitoris, and then it has a mm -hmm. part that goes internal as well, and it stimulates internally the G-spot. For some women, having the dual stimulation where you have the vibrator that has a part on top that fits over the clitoris, that stimulates the clitoris, and then, of course, you have the vibrating part that is internally inserted so you can actually have a dual orgasm, both clitoral orgasm and a vaginal orgasm at the same time. And for some women, it's just the perfect. It's like having a threesome without inviting the, without having to check on a third person tomorrow to see if it's okay. <laughs> because you're getting like stimulated in two different areas at the same time. And then if you add on some nipple suckers, you'll just be full on with a lot of people who are not really actually there. But there's a lot of ways to have different orgasms, nipple orgasms, mouth orgasms, clitoral orgasms, vaginal orgasms, anal orgasms as well, right? Because there are some toys that will stimulate both the anus and the vagina at the same time. So dual orgasms are fabulous. Are you in menopause, perimenopause, or postmenopause? I have found the absolute best products called Parlor Games. I use the estriol and progesterone topical creams and they have been game changers. Maybe you've listened to the show and want to be featured as a guest. Eve uses Podmatch to connect with new or potential guests. Reach out and begin the process today. One thing that I do want to bring up is natural materials and dildos with natural materials. And I found some beautiful dildos mm -hmm. on your site. One of them was a black like an obsidian stone or something. And then there was another pink one yes. that is also a stone. And then yes. I love glass um, uh, dildos as well because they're just, yes. you know, one, they're natural. Two, they're smooth. They go in smoothly. And this one in particular has a round side and mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. side that's not, you see how it's not round. It's like a little nub mm -hmm. with yes, these yes. buffs. Yes. <laughs> This one's wonderful. That looks fun. This one's fun for anal. This one's fun for vaginal. It's like a, you know, this. So I love that. That's a good one. So you want to go into the natural materials? Yeah. yeah. So it is important for us to make sure that all of our products are of a natural. It's not so much it's natural, is that it's not the kind of chemicals that will leach. So when you have um, dildos that are very gelatious, that this rubbery kind of thing, when you open the package, it smells like rubber. You can smell the chemicals. Those are phthalates. And if you remember not too long ago, 10, 15 years ago, there was this big push to not use plasticware for cookware and not to put warm uh, food in your plasticware because the phthalates is what gives the plastic its, its bend, if you will. And when you put something hot in it, that chemical leaches, which has been attached to all kinds of cancer, it leaches out of the plastic. So some of your sex toys, especially the gelatious ones, have phthalates in them. So we only carry silicone, medical grade silicone, glass, stainless steel, gold, and ABS placards that do not have phthalates in them. Because if you think about it, if the phthalates are going to leach when the food is just warm, what's going to happen when you put that dildo in a 96 degree body? And again, as we mentioned, the anus, the vagina, 
it's covered in mucous membrane. It's going to absorb those. We stick with a good quality material and we have good price points, but we don't do anything cheap and anything that's going to fall apart. And even the glass products, they've been tested for breakage. They're just not going to, if you accidentally drop them, they're not going to just break. So you always want to make sure you're getting your product from a reputable company that have looked into the manufacturing of those companies. What's really good about stainless steel and glass, they're good for temperature play. So that's a good thing to experience yes. with. Speaking of stainless steel, is that an enjoy or a Lawand? I don't even know. I bought this so long ago, but I found one similar on your site and I put it on my wish list. Mm -hmm. And it's also stainless steel. This one has two balls on the ends. So a smaller one and a bigger one. Yes. Which I love this one for vaginal and this one for anal. They can be I like one who knows what she likes. Yeah. Now everybody's going to know yeah. what I like, right? Ooh. Oops. <laughs> so yeah, so this one's really fun and it's stainless steel. I have to say though, that this is a little much for me. Like I used to use this a lot and I loved it. And now the stainless steel is, okay. it's too like intense for me. It's like too, I don't know. Anyway, you have to is pay attention heavy? and listen to your body. It's heavy and it like can internally bruise. So I haven't been using that one too yeah, much lately, yeah. but I do love the glass one and it's like slides really nicely. And of course my little yeah. stainless steel. And what I love butt about plug. any butt plugs is I love anything that looks like jewelry. <laughs> yeah. So this one has a little crystal heart on plug. it. What's that? I said, we love, a, we love a nice piece of jewelry. I had to tell you a story. I was on the couple's cruise one year before it became bliss. And I think okay. it was schoolgirl night. So everybody had all the women on the really little short skirts. And we were at a big table, like 10, 15 people sitting at a table in the main dining room. And the woman was talking about her new butt plug and it had a crystal. I think oh, it was the Hello Kitty butt plug. We actually <laughs> sell it on the site. And it was a Hello Kitty, all crystals. And someone said, she goes, yeah, I'm wearing it right now. And I goes, you're wearing it right now? Oh, we want to see. So she stands up and she puts her foot on the dining room table, bends over to show her ass. And we're all like, Oh, wow. The waiter walks by with a tray of food and damn it loses the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> it was the funny, because the waiter just was like, what in the, why is her whole ass up in the air? Why am I seeing her whole ass in the air? He almost dropped the whole tray of several plates. It was very funny. It was very funny. That <laughs> is very funny. And I always think about these, like the Bliss Cruise that you just talked about which I, I haven't been on any of these kind of vacations, but it's interesting because on these cruises that are like takeovers or hotel takeovers or whatever, there's people, employees that work on these cruises that suddenly are like inundated with this wild party and yeah. they're not ready for it. Sometimes they're not ready for it. So that waiter was obviously they, not expecting. <laughs> the ones on the ship for the takeovers on the ship, they know what it is. They could right. opt out of it. They all get to, they all get to opt out of it. And then of course, for those of you who have not been at the pool and at, especially for the hotel takeover where the hotel is not a type swinger type resort or that if it's just a takeover, it's a regular hotel that has been taken right. over. So we don't allow sex by the pool or blowjobs by the pool or in the hallway or no place else other than the playroom because the people who work there should not be subjected to our, our kinks and things just because they're work jobs. So they do have the rules and boundaries as to where you can be to explore sexually. So once you decide to play the room, only the people on the team for the producer of the event is at that door, not the hotel staff doesn't go in there. We're in charge of making sure that it's clean and people got condoms and, but yeah, they, they still get to look at naked people all the time by the pool. <laughs> they read the dark sunglasses on. <laughs> They have a good time. I'm sure, I'm sure that time. started many a conversion into the lifestyle or the ethical non-monogamous lifestyle because sometimes people have just no exposure, right? And so suddenly you yeah. have this exposure and you're like, wow, this is very interesting. What is going on yeah. here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they're really, they, yeah, they tend to ask a lot. I'm sorry. They tend a lot to of ask questions, a lot of questions, right? Yes. They're like, where are you? 
I need to call my wife or my husband and see if we we need we might be interested in this thing. Yes. <laughs> yes, why uh-huh. not? Why not? I want to talk about we already brought condoms, right? And I like the Hilo condoms that you have on your site. And we talked about how they're and it's always important to protect yourselves. And I talk a lot about safe sex on the podcast. I haven't done an episode yes. recently, but safety is key with any sexual experience and having those conversations with your partner is so key to make sure that you're protecting yourself throughout the whole experience, changing condoms often and all of that good stuff. So (laughs) no double dipping. Yes, That means you don't go from one vagina to the next without changing condoms and you don't go from the vagina to the the anus back. You don't double dipping. That's right. And you just mentioned what I was about to say is that you don't want to have anal sex with a condom on and then use that same condom and go into the vaginal canal because you can transmit infection, bacteria, all of that, that can cause a lot of issues. (laughs) So yes. Yes. So always make sure that you're paying attention to your hygiene throughout the sexual experience. And yes, sex gets messy. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. We like the messy But we just have to be conscious of, you know, the transmission of germs from one orifice to another. (laughs) We have the liberator throws for the messy sex. Nothing seeps through. Those are good for squirters or your husband always wants to come on the sheets or someplace else and it's dripping everywhere. They're machine washable. I don't know if you have a throw. throw Yes, that's got to be on my list. Amazing. Liberator throws, and I was just about to talk about the liberators themselves, right? I have, there's some pillows and there's some Mm -hmm. furniture. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the liberator uh, line. Yeah, liberator is one of our um, best-selling lines. They make lots of wedge-shaped pillows. They also make what they call toy mounts. So you can put your small vibrators or your big ones in it so that you can mount the toy, if you will. It almost turns into a sex machine, if you will. Um, They're made of a really dense foam that has a um, moisture barrier, protective cover over it. And then they have the really soft uh, microfiber on top of that. Lots of colors. They have the black label line, but they make a throw that also has a moisture barrier. So nothing seeps through. You can get travel size, you can get uh, queen size and king size for your bed. And it just goes in the wool, throw it on the, toss it on the floor when you're no wet, no more wet <laughs> in the bedroom, but at, and lots of different colors. They are one of the best, a really good investment because it protects your sheets. Some of us yes. pay a lot of money for our sheets and you know what? Ick, when sex gets messy all over your damn sheets. So I love my liberated throws. Or the mattress, because you can have yeah. a blanket and a comforter and two sheets. And if you are having a lot of squirting situations happening oh, yeah. that can penetrate through all of that and can get into the mattress. So you have to make sure that you have a mattress pad and, or this liberator throw, which seems yes. like it could be used over or under or both. <laughs> yeah. Most people just put it right on top and they put it right on top of the sheets or right on top of the, you know, your blank ever. And then when you're done, you just toss it on the floor and put it in the wash the next day. Of course now, I always tell people, though, if you have pets or children, if you have dumb children, especially, you're going to come home one day and your child's going to be wrapped up in your blanket. And you'll be like, <laughs> what are you doing with my blanket? That's mommy's <laughs> special blanket. And like, that was cold. Like, go put on a sweatshirt and some socks. Give me my... And you look at your man and be like, I told you to put that damn thing in the wash. You know? And if you have a dog, you'll come home one day and your dog would be just like, Oh, just rolling and laying on your blanket and just, yeah, because they're dogs. They love all that nasty shit. Now, your cat, of course, will not do that. Your cat will walk by the blanket and go, oh, what the fuck was that? Ew, you all are just nasty. Cats are very clean. They're not going to lay in a nasty, cum-filled blanket. It's not going to happen. But, yeah, the blanket will be used for everything other than what you want. If yes, and the dogs have such, such a strong home. sense of smell. They like to sniff each other. Your kids don't have a very good sense of smell, so they're not even going to realize it. So put your toys away <laughs> after using them because these are adult toys yeah. and don't need to be subject to the children. Yes, 
keep a special <laughs> special sure. treasure box. And maybe that's got to be something that I, you know, put on there too. Do you have any nice treasure boxes? Yes, we have several soft and hard toy cases. We have the soft ones that are like pouches with zip and have a little lock. And then we have the bigger cases. They're like a hard case. It's like leather and metal and it's got a big lock on it. And then it comes in two different sizes and I think three different colors. So yes, you want to hide your things from your children. But we have some simple ones that are just like a nice pouch. But the material on the inside is made so that it's antibacterial. So always make sure, of course, to wash your toys. And all of our toy cleansers are also natural and or organic. So you don't have chemical residue on them. But yeah, you want to put your toys. If you got, you know, kids or people visiting, you want to put your toys away. But it's just That's nice right. to store them someplace and not just toss them in the drawer. Some of us just toss them in the drawer. <laughs> but you're, you have a nice wand. Yeah, it's an investment, right? It's an investment and you are creating your toy chest and kids have toy chests. Adults can have toy chests too. So I like the idea of putting them somewhere. And I love the fact that the first one that you mentioned has a little lock on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the second one does, but I love yes, the idea of having a little lock on it so that people that are nosy can't be finding things that you don't want them to find. So I think that is a very smart idea. And yes. there are so many beautiful products on this site. I'm just going to mention a few because there's this, and I personally have never been gagged before. It scares me, the idea of it. Plus, I like to talk a lot <laughs> <laughs> and bark out orders. But <laughs> this is why we go gag. This, this is why we're gagging you just for that reason. <laughs> just for that reason. But there is one that I saw on your site that is like a rose, a flower, Yes. And it's by Oh my gosh. Oh, I it was it. so beautiful. I should have brought it in here. Ooh. I should go get it. Ooh. Go get it, Ollie. I have it here. You will you? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go get it so they can see it. Okay. Hold on. Oh my gosh, I love that one. Okay, and we're she's back. back. So this so. is the rose. It goes that way. <laughs> But the rose itself, like an oopsie, I can take this out of here. So it does come out. Okay. And you can wear the gag just like that. Okay. Uh, okay. So it's attached to a gag also. Okay. And the rose yeah. is, it comes off and on. Okay. That's, yeah. it is so beautiful. I love it. Yes. I think it looks so sexy. <laughs> I might be tempted. I might be tempted to buy it and maybe gag someone else with it, but. <laughs> You can always join from the other side of the rose. <laughs> that's right. That's right. And there's some other really interesting things that I had never considered before. Lube app applicators that I think is a great idea because sometimes you're like dipping your fingers. I don't know. I love coconut oil. So that's like my favorite. But okay. I did find some okay. like really nice natural lubes on your site. And then there were these little app applicators. And I'm assuming Lube that launcher. Yes. And it's like a little, almost like a syringe, right? And it just puts mm -hmm. it in the right spot, right? And then it's also, everything that's in that container is clean, right? It's not yeah. like you're putting your hand in the same dirty <laughs> container. And I'm always like washing those containers out because that's what happens, right? So yeah. this is a great idea just to stay clean and uh, make sure that your lube is not contaminated. I think the lube launcher is the greatest invention since the toaster. Because <laughs> normally we put lube on, we just put some on our fingers, right? We just put some on our fingers. But then once you insert it, the lips grab it, and that's about as far as it gets. And even if you put it on the tip of the penis, once you insert it, the lips grab it, and that's as much as you get. So when you halfway or fully put the lube in the launcher, and then you put the launcher high in, in the vagina and you launch the lube way up top. Now it's working its way down. It's working its way down while you're having sex. I like to pre-lube before having sex. Like you're going to go out to dinner or dancing. And if you use a heavy gelaceous lube, like an aloe vera based lube, because like coconut okay. oil is really thin. Yeah. So as soon as you put that into running out, I would put on like the party. I'm going to be out for an hour or maybe a quick dinner. And just before I put my shoes on, I prelude. <laughs> it's 
It's, so while I'm sitting there at dinner, later. it's working its way down. Yeah, it's working its way down. Mm-hmm. And that is an interesting idea. And he touches you and he goes, oh my God, you're so wet. And you go, I know, baby, I could barely wait. That's what you do to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And having all of this like, sexy interplay and thinking about these things. Why shouldn't we be thinking about these things and thinking ahead and planning yes what sexy things you guys are going to get into later on. So Mm -hmm. I love that. And, and I found some other really sexy things too. an over door restraint, which I I thought was really fun. Some leather handcuffs Mm -hmm. that I thought were really sexy and some nipple clamps that had, and of course I said, I love jewelry, right? They have chains hanging down and all these like little diamonds and stuff. Oh, yes, that's the, oh my God, who makes, I think XR Brands makes, that's relatively new and it's very popular. It's very popular. Yeah. We have the nipple clamps. We have the nipple suckers. We have the nipple twisters, which you put a nipple and you twist it and it creates a vacuum and you twist it. But you know what you can do with those also? You can put those on the clip. Oh, wow. That would be super intense. Yep. Yeah. We have click clamps also. (laughs) So many amazing things. And I swear, we can sit here and talk and talk for hours, but we've already run out of time. Can you believe it? (laughs) Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So I want to ask you my last question that I ask all of my guests. And this is an interesting question for you because I always say you can answer with something physical or it could be anything, right? It could be something mental or whatever you want to answer. But the question is, what do you bring to the bedroom to make things spicier? Oh, spicier than I already am. I know. Um, Yourself, the thing, right? The thing, uh, my, basically, I think what I bring to the bedroom to make it spicier is being open for the possibilities of what we will indulge in. Like, I'm willing to try some things. So going to the bedroom with an open mind, be like, okay, we, are we going to do something new, something different position? And just, the, it's the willingness to please and more so to be pleased, but mostly it, it's the willingness to please is what I come with. I'm just like, I'm about to, I'm about to rock your damn world. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love yeah. that. Yes. Yay. And really honing your skills and learning how to please is something that we can all learn to do uh, as women and as men and non-binary, everything in between, LGBTQ, trans, we sure. can all learn better how to pleasure and how to receive pleasure. Trying to hone those skills is always a great idea. And I love that that's what you bring, an openness to try things that are new. And Taylor's got all the bells and whistles, I'm sure. She brings (laughs) all her toys as well. But before the toys, you have to have the willingness to use them and to try new things. Thank you so much for being on the show. And I want to make sure that my listeners can find you. So can you tell us where we can find you? Yes, of course. My website is OrganicLovin, L-O-V-E-N dot com. And you can find me on all social media, IG and X and TikTok. Uh, and of course, we also have a YouTube channel as product reviews and, and our uh, podcast. And my podcast is called Sisters of Sexuality. And you can find that on all streaming services for podcasts, iTunes, and Google Play. And you could also visually watch the podcast on the Organic Love and YouTube channels. I'm out here in these streets. I'm in the social media streets is where I am. <laughs> That's right. And she is the sex goddess of the internet. So you're going to have to follow her <laughs> and check out her YouTube channel and listen to her podcast. And she's amazing. And I thank, thank you, you again for being on the show today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. And this site right here is the reason why I know Taylor. (laughs) SDC.com. And so the promo code for that is 37340. And if you use that promo code, you can uh, get a free trial membership on me. SDC.com brought Taylor and I together. And it brought actually my boyfriend and I together, because that's where I met him. And um, really? I have met so many incredible people. And I have to say too, that SCC is also a place for education. And I provide free education on there mm-hmm. on a monthly basis. 
And uh, Taylor Sparks also does um, webinars and other things on there. Do you want to just mention some of the um, things mm -hmm. that you do on SDC? Uh, yes, I contribute to the content that's similar to you. So I have articles on there as well as my Sister Sexuality podcast. You can listen there as well. I do a webinar called The Journey into Ethical Non-Monogamy, which is on Saturdays. And you can find it on scc.com as well as on my organiclovin.com website. And it's just an introduction to the different types of ethical non-monogamy that exist, the five main ones, how they function, um, the little bit of information on there about communication. And then I'm also an ethical non-monogamous coach helping people to transition in or through ethical non-monogamy. So I offer coaching services as well. I'm telling you, Taylor is amazing. So check her out. Um, and all of those links are also on her website, Organic Lovin. And she has, she's the speaker that travels around the world talking about different, different, all sorts of different topics. But um, she's going to, she's going to be doing one of those coming up shortly. And one of these days, I need to come to one of your workshops or we need to connect somewhere. Yeah. Um, so it's on the bucket list. Sure. Right. There. Thank you so much for being on the show again, Taylor. And until Thank next you. time. Looking for the best live streaming or podcast reporting site? Look no further than StreamYard. Get $10 off your first purchase. For podcast hosting, Buzzsprout is the absolute best option out there. Get $20 off your first purchase. Have any questions? Feel free to call me on the OWL app. Use code EMPH576472 for $10 free to use on the best networking app around. Give me a call. If you're experiencing sexual issues and need a physical therapy consultation or appointment, reach out to Eve and make an appointment on things and dot online. See all links and info in the show notes.